Hi everyone, this is Refika and today I would like to cook with you one of the best egg recipes that I know in my life and it's called Menemen. Before we start, I would like to remind you to subscribe to our channel. We have prepared incredible, very good content that you love. There will be challenges, there will be five minute meals and how to videos which you have never seen somewhere on YouTube. So don't forget to subscribe. We are looking so forward to it. To make the basic menemen, the ingredients are very simple. Eggs, tomatoes and peppers. In various places in the world, this recipe is called in different names. Most famous is shakshuka. But today I'm going to cook with you the perfect Turkish eggs. I'll add nottiness like this, nottiness like this. What are those? Turkish nottiness, which we, you learn through the video as the video evolves. First, the tomatoes. When I was young, I still am. Uh, <laughs> When I was younger, I would never take the skins off the tomatoes, but as you get less younger, <laughs> you want everything to taste even better. Taking the skins off helps the texture, the smoothness. When you put a bit of bread and take the eggs out, how it distributes in your mouth is so different. So taking the skins off help. Now for the skins, we no more throw these skins because these are organic food. What we do is find a piece of soil somewhere and dig it and then put all the organic stuff in our kitchen and close it down and it becomes a fertilizer very soon. So the tomatoes are peeled. I put them on the side and then we have two green peppers. Spicy. These are not spicy. In some parts of the world, you cannot find this type of not spicy green peppers. If you cannot, you can use green bell peppers. If you cannot find anything that is not spicy, use a bit of spicy but very small so that it doesn't ruin your eggs. That's all the preparation I'm going to have. Now, I'll turn the heat, but how to cook the menemen is very important. You can make your eggs in one minute, but you can also make them in 10 minutes. How you cook them changes the taste incredibly. So, I turn it to the smallest, um, I'm going to translate it directly from Turkish. Smallest eye of the stove. Smallest thing that gives the fire away. Anyway, I put it on the smallest eye and then turn the heat slightly down. And I'm going to add two tablespoons of butter. Uh, too much. If you ask a French guy, it's too little. If you ask my mom, it's too much. If you ask me, it's the perfect. The thing is, the butter has about 15 to 20% of milk inside. The rest is fat. As we can see, the butter is not like see-through, clear, but it's like foggy and whitish. The reason is the milk side of it makes it that way. But what we are going to do, slowly with the heat, some of the milk particles are going to sink and it will turn in a bit of brown and has that nutty flavor. And we want that nutty flavor, it means taste. Slowly, as you can see, it's turning. There's going to be a foam at the top, also another part of the milk. But as you can see from the first moment, it's getting more clearer when this this is really heated and the foam gets away and the sinking is left and what's left is just pure fat and that's called the clarified butter. I believe this is tastier than the clarified butter so I'm going to let it burn a bit a little. Is it burning really? When you have like small brown dots it's caramelized milk. Now as you can see it's not foggy clear and the milk particles hasn't browned yet but I'm going to let them brown together with the peppers and the peppers will cook a little bit. Can I use olive oil? Of course you can use olive oil. If you were my mom, you would definitely use olive oil. You can use sunflower oil, hazelnut oil we have in Turkey, it's very good. But butter works in miracles together with eggs. As our French friends, Alex would say, as you can see, the butter became really see-through. That's how the taste really develops. I'm going to dice the tomatoes so that they will cook evenly. Can I do it from tomato puree? Yes, you can. Fresh tomatoes always works better, but sometimes really hard to find. So you can use the puree or canned diced tomatoes would do as well. But the taste slightly changes. Even in Turkey, this technique is not really, really used. Now, how I cook this is going to make the whole difference. The heat is at its lowest. I have two tomatoes inside. I put a lid on and going to wait for about six to eight minutes for the tomatoes to simmer and slowly cook. Mm -hmm. 
My tomatoes are cooking slowly, like two minutes later, if I break some eggs, the menemen is going to be ready. But I would like to add some naughty stuff. This is Turkish sujuk and the taste is very close to chorizo. Everyone can find chorizo everywhere, no? Because we have the sujuk of it almost the same. Chorizo uh, is from pork, this is from beef. That's the difference, yeah. I'm going to use about 60 grams of sucuk. I took the skin off. I'm going to make thin stripes. We should definitely do how to make turkey sucuk. Actually, I have a technique which I make it in 10 minutes. So if you want it, what you can do is to subscribe to the channel. And there is something called like the bell. And if you press it twice, it will inform you anytime we put a video on. Now, sucuk is going to give a bit of fat and a lot of spice and taste. Together with this, we have something called pastrami, pastırma actually, but it's very different than what like in New York there's the Castelli's pastrami sandwich, it's different. It comes from the word bastırma, bastırma is to press. How this meat was done, the Turkish people used to live in Middle Asia as nomads on horses, so they would travel all the time. So with the meat they find, uh, they have to take care, cure it somehow. They would cover it with a lot of spice, which smells incredible. The meat would be dried between their thighs, and the back of the horse. It would be squeezed, bastırma, pressed. The shape and the taste would come from that. Today, hopefully it's not done with the horses and the tie of a man, but it's a big industry, so, and it smells incredible, so. But if you cannot find pastırma, you can use prosciutto, you can use bacon. So I'm going to have two slices because it's like filled with incredible taste. The thing is, what's around is spices and a bit of paste. What happens in cured meat is there's something called umami and umami makes all the other tastes even better. It shows itself in stuff like Parmesan cheese, cured meat like pastırma, prosciutto. And when you add small amount of it to a dish, it hires all the other tastes. So whatever you cook, if you like add three parts of prosciutto, pastırma, it makes a whole difference. Now, the tomatoes, it's now smelling incredibly nice. The reason it smells so nice is the caramelized butter. I don't know if it's caramelized butter, but it smells wonderful. Now I smash the tomatoes. Why? I want to make it like a puree, but by smashing it like this and not adding a puree, it gives character and taste. And I add the sucuk and the pastırma and a bit of like a tablespoon of kasher and I mix all this. This is like a melting cheese. We need a melting cheese. You can use mozzarella, a young cheddar or a gouda. So I mix everything together and now it's filled with taste. I do not add any salt because the sujuk and pastrma is with salt. So if you do not add any meat, you want to make it a vegetarian one, you need to add a bit of salt. So now I break two eggs, I mix them. Hi. It starts to smell so much. I want this. Okay. I want this. I can promise you, if French people were making this egg, this would be world famous, maybe even more famous than scrambled one. Still on the lowest heat, I add more cheese like this. For all the recipes, any grams and anything, we have it down as a recipe. So if you miss anything, you can read the recipes and find it out. I add red flake pepper. It's dancing. If I was the minimum, I would dance as well. I close the lid of the pan and with the lowest heat, when the cheese melts, it's going to be ready to eat. You need good bread for it. Now, if we're all ready, our menemen is ready too. Da -da -da -da. This is really what the taste is all about. And French people have their baguette and we have this white, to tell you the truth, not so healthy, but incredibly tasty bread. It's very soft inside and very crunchy outside. What it's really good for is, because it's this spongy, whatever you dip it with, it sucks all the great waters inside, the juice. I'm going to have the first spoon out of this. Three people with a bit of bread would be very happy to eat this. I would definitely eat it alone. 
This one, yes. Inca impossible. I will. It will be I, too I much for this. one person, huh? I will. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe. If you like this recipe, don't forget to make it for your friends and for yourself. And also press like. For now, that's all. There's another video from us from here and a subscribe button here so that this will be easy. <laughs> Take care.